Grief is the price we pay for love. How right was Queen Elizabeth? The late Queen's wisdom and stories seem like an endless tunnel, just like her royal family tree. In this video, we have a few extremely dangerous and life-threatening accidents that the Queen's close family has gone through. Sadly, these incidents completely drowned out due to the grief of the Queen's death. But don't worry we have got you all covered. Did the relatives survive the accidents? How is their recovery? Is the royal family going through some curse? Watch the video till the very end to find out. Sophie Wessex One of the closest people to Queen Elizabeth II was Sophie the Countess of Wessex. The princess, who is a regular in the fashion pages on the British Royal News, got into an unfortunate accident during her mandatory horse practices recently. The event also fell right before the marriage of Kate Middleton and Prince William. The accident was an extremely severe one and occurred in the Windsor Great Park. The Countess of Wessex was immediately taken to the Princess Margaret's hospital where the X-ray showed that she broke a rib as well as heavily injuring several others. She was 46 at the time, therefore recovery wasn't the breeziest of tasks. In spite of reportedly wearing a hard hat and a safety back brace at the time of the accident, the injury was still extremely severe. On the bright side, the princess is assured of not needing any further surgeries. Both the Princess of Wessex and the Queen are extremely passionate about horse riding. But being the rebel that Queen Elizabeth II is, she stubbornly refuses to swap her traditional headscarf for a riding hat even at the age of 85. However, she does insist that all her grandchildren are protected and safe and always wear safety headgear. Just one year before her demise, the Queen finally gave the media permission for a photograph of herself riding with her youngest granddaughter and her brother James, Viscount Severn, then three in the Bluebells at Windsor Great Park, illustrating the closeness of their relationship. Despite the critical condition, the princess still attended the wedding. A risky choice indeed. Not only that, she was the trooper of the wedding. Her daughter, Lady Louise Windsor who was seven back then, was the bridesmaid of Kate Middleton. Sophie wasn't born into a royal family. She was a commoner who after a long relationship with Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex got married finally on 19 June 1999 at the St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle. The couple have two children, Lady Louise Mountbatten Windsor and James Mountbatten Windsor, Viscount Severn. Any guesses in which places the two children are to hold the throne? Watch the video till the very end to find out. The princess lovingly called the Queen Mama and was one of the Queen's closest friends and her favorite daughter-in-law. After the Queen's demise, the princess appeared and took part in the Queen's coffin procession on the St. Giles' Cathedral. After the death of their beloved husband, the Queen reached out to her rock Sophie for emotional support during tough times. She lived barely 10 miles away from Windsor Castle in Bagshot Park and regularly visited the Queen and held an extremely special place in the Queen's heart. Mike Tyndall, one of the more famous royal family members, Mike Tyndall is not not just famous for being part of the royal family but due to his sports career. Michael James Tyndall, famously known as MBE, is an English former rugby union player. The sports icon became part of the royal family after his marriage to Princess Sarah Phillips. In an extremely dangerous event in 2008, the player damaged his ribs while playing rugby. A tricky tackle left him with a displaced rib that pierced his lungs and tore his liver. That sounds absolutely brutal. After the ordeal, Mike was in intensive care in the hospital for three nights. Mike's luck was so bad that even if the injury was just an inch higher or lower, he would have only broken a few ribs. Don't get us wrong, that's still horrible, but compared to what had happened to him, getting a few ribs broken would have been a boon. Mike after a few months of rest completely recovered from the horrible injury and got back into his rugby practice as well. The player married to Zara Anne Elizabeth who is also an Olympian. Daughter of Anne, Princess Royal, and Captain Mark Phillips. She is the niece of King Charles Ida and is 20th in the line of succession to the British throne. Speaking of succession to the throne and answering the question we asked you before, Lady Louise Mountbatten Windsor and James Mountbatten Windsor, Viscount Severn are 15th and 16th in line for the Queen's throne. That's a far-fetched aim to achieve but we still wish them all the luck. Share this video to your Queen Elizabeth crazy friends to educate them a little more about her relatives and their injuries. We will see you very soon with another video.